hey guys welcome back to another video hope you guys are having a fantastic day so in today's video i will be doing the brakes well i already did the brakes on the bike but i'm just going to show you guys briefly how you guys can get it done easily so being that today is mother day i want to shout out all the mothers out there happy mother's day to all the mothers the upcoming mothers the future mothers and you know just all mothers out there even you know sadly but all the mothers that passed away hope you you know happy mother's day to all the mothers out there but i'm gonna get everything situated and then i'm gonna show you guys how you can swap out the brakes on your ninja 250. so before i go ahead and start taking the caliper off and everything um for me personally as you guys know i don't really know much about motorcycles this you know i'm learning as i'm going and this is the main reason why you know for me personally, if I don't really know what I'm looking for and stuff like that, I, I hate shopping online, but as you know, most of the motorcycle stores are closed at the moment. So um, what happened was um, I ordered a set of pads online, but on the picture, um, I'm gonna just go ahead and show you guys what happened. All right, guys, so I'm gonna show you what happened to me when I ordered the brakes online. So as you can see, I'm on cyclegear.com. I type in the year, the model and make of my bike, and I typed in brake pad right here. As you can see, they have a wide variety. This is the pad that I chose. So I'm gonna show you guys right now. So as you can see exactly, even though this says it fits my bike, this is the, the brake pad, uh, this is the model number for the brake pads. As you can see, EBC 4A473. So that that's why I got confused. And after I ordered the pads, even though it was the right pads that came in, that was the part that kind of confused me. So I just want to show you guys, just be super careful when you're ordering parts online. Make sure you double or triple check what you're buying. Even though I end up getting the right part for the bike, I end up um, taking it back to Cycle Gear because I found uh, two sets for half the price I paid for this one. All right, guys. So right here, as you can see, there's two 12 millimeter bolts right here that hold on the calipers. They they shouldn't be that tight. So you can either get a wrench or a socket and just break them loose but do not take them off all the way. I'm gonna show you why you shouldn't take them off all the way. You see these two Allen bolts right here. You might be wondering, what are these two Allens for? These Allens are what hold the brake pads inside of the caliper itself. Again, so make sure you just break these loose. Do not take them off all the way. Just break these loose. And then you can break these loose and then you can take all these two 12 millimeter bolts and I'll show you right after. All right, so I got my 12 wrench right here. All right, remember, just break them loose because we got to take these Allen, you just got to break these Allen's loose right now. Now you can go ahead and take off these 12 uh, bolts. All right, so I got the bolts loose. All right. But well, most importantly, guys, you, as you can see, the outside pad right here, it has a hook around here. So make sure, guys, again, I didn't really know much about motorcycles. I do not know. So when I was looking online, the pictures that came up, it didn't have this hook on the outside. So as you saw in the earlier clip, I explained what happened with me ordering pads online and the struggle I had to come through. But I ended up getting the right pads or whatever. But most importantly, guys, when you're putting in the new pads, remember you gotta compress the piston right here and it's gonna be super hard to compress it because when I was trying to compress the piston, 
this piston especially every time I compress it it would come back out so I'm gonna show you an easy trick even though even though I didn't want to do this guys event I tried to fight it but eventually I had to take off this cap right here the head of your the bolts might be different I I tried to take this off at one point in the and the Phillips whatever the Phillips ball strip and I had to change the head of the ball but this is the master for the front brakes guys it's just easier for you to take this off and just it's go, even though it's gonna make a mess it's just gonna make your life so much easier compressing those pistons all right again guys just to sum everything up again i'm extremely sorry for not showing the exact way how to do it but i'm just showing you guys the easiest way again just to sum it up remember just crack these two 12 millimeter bolts do not take them off all the way just crack him loose and then you can go ahead and crack these two allens and then you can go ahead take the caliper off and again take these after you take these bolts off you slide the caliper out take these two allens out they're kind of hard you just maybe after after a certain point after a certain point they're going to be kind of hard to get through so you just use maybe a screwdriver or something just to push them through and then the brake pads should fall out and you just do the reverse motion and again if you're having trouble compressing the piston even though I didn't want to do it but I had to take off the master cylinder and it's gonna make a mess so as soon as you compress the piston just stop what you're doing get a clean microfiber towel and mark, wipe up everywhere you don't want any brake brake fluid on your paint or anything of that sort because you know paint and brake fluid don't mix so just wipe that off right away and just you can just do the reverse motion and do everything so being that i have work tomorrow i'm planning to take the bike out for for work for the rest of the week so what i'm gonna do right now is push the bike out and just wash it down because this bike is filthy i haven't washed this bike in maybe like two weeks so i'm just gonna push it out right now give it a rinse and just Wipe it down and get, get ready for work tomorrow. guys so as you can see the bike is all cleaned up man um i wish i had some wax to just like kind of wax it down but i kind of ran out but for the most part the bike came out pretty clean it still has a little some bugs mark on the windshield right here i tried to get it off as best as possible but i got majority of it off but as you can see man the bike is looking super good all right guys so this is at the end of the video i hope you guys enjoyed the video Again, I'm super sorry for not really going into details and showing you guys exactly what to do to change the brake. But I hope you still find it informative. But for the most part, hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'm just going to wrap up everything right now. But hope you guys see you in the next one. Oh, and before I forgot, last night um, I went to visit a friend of mine. He lives up in the mountains. Um, I had some clips. 
I'm gonna throw in at the end of the video to show you guys and you know, just a little scenery and anything. I just took the bike out for a little cruise and anything. But again, hope you guys enjoyed the video. See you guys in the next one. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and see you in the next one. Peace on night lit.